Good food is not everything when it comes to health, but without it, everything is nothing. Welcome to our show, Kitchen Treasures. In our kitchen, you will discover lots of lo and lots of treasures, treasures that can actually prevent you from diseases and even reverse diseases. And these treasures are so simple, they can be taken from your fruits, vegetables, nuts, and greens. And they can actually prevent many problems, many sickness. And actually, they're so simple. They can protect you from disease, the vitamins and minerals and fibers and phytochemicals. And of course, all these antioxidants. So, keeping in our kitchens, kitchen here are treasures. And today, we have another special episode. And this is actually about indigenous vegetable. Last time, we had already the... Lagikwai, and this time let's try to see some of the indigenous vegetables. Now, I am so happy because I am with somebody right now, and I'll be inviting him to join me here in my kitchen. One of the crew members of the HCBN, the He is Coming Broadcasting Network. Actually, Kirby, come here, and Kirby has lots and lots of you know secrets and you know recipes yes. and yes so unique recipes and when whenever he cooks food for us here everybody's so amazed kirby, <laughs> kirby what's that your new invention <laughs> yes <laughs> we were just shocked for uh, what, whatever the cook uh, food is there anyway um what we're going to do to do today is uh, Talinum. <laughs> okay, those of you who are watching us, this is. Can we you focus the camera to the flower and to the leaves of talinum? This was freshly picked from the backyard, and this is a uh, you know just can grow anywhere. A wild plant. Yeah, a wild you don't plant. need to water it, right? Yes. Yeah. It just grow. This is actually, um, we call it the Philippine spinach in yes. English, and the scientific name is Talinum triangulare. Yeah. So, as you can see in the screen. It's actually, it's not triangle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if... <laughs> Yeah. Why yeah. they name it triangulare? Mm. And it has actually a very cute uh, pink flower and this cute little pink flower. And as you, can, as you can see in the slide, yeah. look at the slide. Yeah, you, when you, you focus the really the flower, it's, you know, as beautiful as the orchid. Yeah, huh? it is. <laughs> <laughs> but it's qu quite a bit so small and, you know, tiny kind of flower. Now, the um, talinum is actually high in beta-carotene. Mm. And for the past uh, episodes, we were con you know, comparing the nutritional value, like the beta-carotene and calcium, mm. of all these indigenous vegetables, compare it to the, veg the food that our yes. viewers some would sometimes yeah. love to eat. Yes. Like, they keep on eating shrimp and pork. Huh? Yes, we don't. Yeah. We don't advise you to really store this kind of food in your mm -hmm. kitchen because this is really loaded with excessive amount of fat and the amount of fat is the undesirable, which is we call, we call it the saturated yeah. and it really carries cholesterol. Yeah, not only that, it has also low in nutritional value. Yeah, like the beta carotene is so low, like 10 maybe, 10 microgram only per 100% edible portion and if it is calcium, it's only 9 to 6 yeah, for the shrimp, okay? Yeah. And for the pork, it's only 30 and calcium is 14. So yes, it's it. 30 and 14 and shrimp is 10 and 76. Mm. So low, it, it never even reached 100. Yes. But when you have this talinum, look! See. The amazing <laughs> nutritional content of beta-carotene. 2,450. It's amazing. Amazing, My that's right. Yeah. That's so high. Yes. Okay, so that is thousand times when you <laughs> compare it you compare. to the other one, huh? Yeah, you need to take more slices of those yeah. food 
others like love to eat. And the bad thing is it has cholesterol mm. and saturated fat. And not only that, it has waste products. Yes. And yes. the industry right now keeps on injecting hormone and mm. all these preservatives. In and order for it to mm. grow faster mm -hmm. and it reproduce fast. Yeah, you yeah. got it right. So we better <laughs> shift to this kind of vegetable. Yes, okay. this is uh, one of the endangered. Actually, not endangered. We can can really see it one time but people don't, don't mind yeah, yeah and then they don't you know they're not interested so <laughs> we we want to create some awareness here yes just before i came here in iloilo i have found that it, this one is really edible food so when i came here i was one day jogged in the morning and i was like i saw a a a ground which is a dry ground and then in the other side i saw abundant plant this lagikwa is is growing in that place i was like Who? both the lagikwa yes. and the talinum yeah yeah the, the, the talinum i mean i was i was so you're so excited with, with lagikwa huh? oh no <laughs> so the talinum i saw the talinum and i was like oh i would like to pick some of this and so i asked the the person who is attending the house and he's, she said you can get as much as you can so they don't know about this that this kind of plant is rich in beta carotene and calcium yeah beta carotene and calcium and fiber yeah fiber. and even iron and all these yes, nutrients that's it yeah so what shall we do with this uh talinum okay watch guys you know watching there it's so simple to prepare yeah and i'm sure many of you here who are familiar with this vegetable yes the usual actually is boil it or sometimes put yes. this in sinigang yes we or put, sinigang. put it in your you know any of your blanch a uh, salad vegetable but this time we will be preparing it raw right yes we uh -huh. will prepare it raw but before that we would like also to introduce one kind of um, root crop root crop this is actually tuber yeah tuber we call it yakun yakin yakun y a c o n yes. yakun this is actually a uh, familiar plant from originated in per peru yes. and sometimes they call it peruvian ground apple that's it mm -hmm. so in in mindanao they call it apple in the earth yeah so and and this one actually is available right now here in the Philippines. In the Philippines. It's available in Mindanao. Yes, it's, it's also available in the north. Yeah, yeah. it's also mm -hmm. reproduced much and much more because they, they found out that it helps a lot of uh, diseases. It helps the body, the system to recover fast than, than any other kind of root crop. Now, I would like to compare the, <laughs> the root crop. They might the, get the wrong one. Yeah. <laughs> This is uh, camote. Yeah. So this is camote. And this one is uh, um, the yakun. As you notice, both are almost similar. But what you can see, camote has a different you know, texture than this. Um, this one is could, really watery. Yeah, look. watery. What, it mm -hmm. looks watery. And it's so easy to you know, um, det uh, differentiate because it has um, a different texture as you can just even i wish you could touch it it, it has different texture than camote you know it's what this one is cold because yeah. of the water yes this one is not portion. really that cold yeah and then um the smell is different you know mm -hmm. the smell of camote and this one so um you cannot uh, sometimes find it in the market you can some find in the mall but some others are really confused of what is camote and what is yakun. But, but the good news right now, I can see this so often in the mall. Yes, yeah. you can see in the mall. But and if it is season, they just sell it 40 pesos per yes, kilo. But if it, it is off season, yeah. uh, sometimes 80 or even 100 pesos. <laughs> but you know yeah. what? The first time I bought this mm -hmm. one was in, in, in Glorieta. Yeah? Wow. In Glorieta, it was 300 pesos. That so was expensive. several years ago. Oh, no. yeah. uh, but now it's... It's getting cheaper. This one, I bought this from Baguio last week. Mm -hmm. And I got this only for 25 pesos per kilo. Wow. Ah. So, and it's nice because it's still, it can stay long. Huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. Th those of you who are curious of what is yakun, you can research it. 
to the internet, type Yakun in Google, you yeah. know, you can, it you'll helps out, Google's helps out. You'll get you know. good information yes, about the yakun. yakun. Now, this one, the secret is this, when you keep this in your kitchen, no, to keep it sweet really, and later yes. on it really becomes sweeter than the, the first time you bought it. Yes. You know what, the secret is this, don't wash it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when you keep this one in your ref, uh, all you have to do is just keep the the soil, you know, the mm, the dirt, the mud. <laughs> the mud. Mm. <laughs> then don't worry. Later on, when you prepare, you, you will you wash it wash later. It. Yeah. So keep it with the mud, and that can actually preserve it. Actually, I've tried this one keeping in my ref for three months mm -hmm. with the mud, and still the same, mm. uh, the same quality, the same texture. Wow. Young crisps crisp is the same yes, okay. and it's, it's actually nice. the mud can pres pre preserve it yeah it's same like putting it on the ground mm -hmm. like you know it's it's um covered with mud mm -hmm. and so when you keep this for future use be sure that it yes. has mud so our our recipe is actually um uh spinach philippine spinach and Yakun. Yakun. Salad. salad. Wow. So, <laughs> Watch our new recipe, Yakun and Talenum Salad. Yes, yeah, so that's it. So while um, Doc Bless, he can talk about Yakun, we can also wash this in uh -huh. a little while. Because we will not cook that one. Yeah. So all you have to do is just wash. This one, we have already washed this before the start of the show. So it's already you know, free from the mud. So... Uh, by the way, if you will be turning this as salad, you can also use the um, uh, what's it, the scotch the, right? yeah, the, the, yeah, the, the brush, the brush, brush maybe, it. and so that you can remove all the dirt from yeah. the yakun. Those of you who are not really uh, don't, don't like to eat this, and it's also sometimes visible for the kids. You can actually eat. Um, Cut it into small pieces. Yeah, for the purposes it. of not really yeah. showing the real leaves. Yeah, the real leaves. Um, that's for the kids. Yeah. But for us, we can we can yes. eat as is, huh? Yes. No need to cut. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if we eat it as as this one, we can immediately eat. But for the kids, now we have to cut it yeah. into small pieces. Into small, very tiny small pieces, kind of. Yeah. No. By the way, this one is very good when so, it comes to putting to your, you know, to your uh, lauoy. Yes. Yeah. Lauoy can be can be with this yeah. talinum. Yeah, talinum. So while you're cutting that one, this yakun actually can help a lot when it comes to controlling the blood sugar because it has good amount of fiber. Okay, um, if you look really at this kind of root crop or tuber, this is actually mainly is big por portion is water and uh, fructo oligosaccharides. That is actually a carbohydrate thing. And if you want really to maximize this, know the nutritional value. Yeah, you can search in the inulin content of this one because the inulin can actually make good control of your blood sugar. Diabetic, the inulin can actually help you a lot when it comes to eating your... Actually, you don't need to cook or mm. you to prepare it. So what I do here is just I peel and then eat like yep. sinkamas, eat like turnips or eat yep. like apple. Yeah. Um, yeah. And but if you will be serving this to a party, you should remember that it can actually, uh, it has actually a fast enzymatic browning effect. So mm -hmm. when it is exposed to air, it becomes brown. So my advice is, if it is in the party, you have to soak it with or soak it in in a pineapple yes. juice so, so that it prevents it. the enzymatic browning. Yes. So that is the advantages of the root crop because they have enzymes so yeah. when you eat it raw you eat the enzymes with it that's it yeah so let's cut some portion of this yakun and we will also peel this one you see the structure if you can see it closer it's really crunchy huh? 
and then you can see that juicy portion of the the yakun and this is the one of the most unique uh, uh, you know characteristics of this kind of fruit now so this that. yakun also um, it has a unique prebiotic mm. when we say prebiotic later on when you eat this one it can create or it can actually stimulate or feed the friendly bacteria in your colon. Good. That's the reason why this is really healthy to your colon. Uh, some uh, people are using this for detox. I use this for detox. Mm -hmm. Now, if I don't want to eat um, like dinner, I want mm -hmm. to miss my dinner, I'll just eat one yakun and that can be part of your simple detox. Wow. Or if you can try this one, those of you who, who can try it, <laughs> eating this for two days or just one day now you'll experience that you can have really good colon mm. um those of you are constipated for sure you will go to the bathroom several a days if you eat this kind of thing because of the prebiotic effect wow. and it's really very good when it comes to feeding the bacteria in your colon uh, i have tried it like mm -hmm. i used to do this i used to do this every season of yakon like i I put one day or maybe two meals on that um, a week, mm -hmm. two meals on that week, straight two weeks, and then I'll try to observe what happens. But don't try this one if you have a, if you have appointments or if you are in a travel. Be sure to stay at home because for sure you'll go to the toilet several times, uh, especially okay. those of you who have you know not so clean colon. Yeah. So here comes the yakun. Wait, um, we'll wash and it and then. And it's really nice. <laughs> now, if you will be doing this as salad yes. or as side dish, in a party, all you have to do is soak this with, in, in, in the juice, in, in pineapple juice maybe. Okay. By the way, yakun can be uh, a dessert also. When you put mango, mm -hmm. yeah, that can also be dessert. Or you can put some of your sweet fruits. Now, I used to put marang here, and this can actually be the best dessert with the yakun and then with the flavoring of marang. Wow, that's perfect. Yes, so uh -huh. that's it. So, we will be cutting this into small pieces. Mm -hmm. Now, those of you who are bringing this in the office, all you need is just bring this and then bring some some peeler or knife with you so that when you're ready to eat at the time you have to yes. to peel it okay so can you now see the en quick enzymatic browning yeah. it becomes brown so so fast but don't worry if you know what's happening behind you're not to worry no um it's just the enzymatic browning mm. but if again people in a party they want beauty Yes. <laughs> so you have to soak it in your juice. Okay. Yeah. So friends, again, the yukun is so helpful when it comes to diabetic. Those of you who have relatives or friends, people who are watching right now, diabetic can benefit a lot from the yukun. Not only the diabetic, the, um, the hypertensive people can also benefit a lot from this dish. Yes. Okay, so the curb now is cutting this into into small pieces, small cubes dice, or yeah. dice. So curb, what can we add to season this one? Yeah, we can add brag. Yeah, so this is brag. So this is a uh, liquid amino for those mm -hmm. who are uh, who have just watched us today. So can I add little? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so let's try to add just a few, mm. and then we can add little olive oil or. Mm. Um, coconut oil. Mm. Now, if you like some virgin coconut oil, you can use it. Yes. Or virgin olive oil. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you can also add onions with it. So I will now. Some, I will now mix some onions and uh, tomatoes. Some garlic, probably, if you like some taste of a garlic, you know. Just small cuts. If you yeah. will be using the purple yeah. onions, be sure to just put small a amount. little because it's too s strong. It's strong. The, the flavor mm. is so strong. The white one is still okay. Yeah. Right? So I would advise you to use 
a white the sweet, sweet onions. onion but the sweet onions is not available this time yeah. so we are substituting it with with purple onions yeah. so, so just i think just the flavor. little little yeah and then our tomato wait we'll wash the tomato okay. so i need to put more of this by the way if you will be preparing this don't prepare ahead of time. Yes. Okay. Um, if the family is ready for dining, that's the time you have to cut your vegetables and your fruits, yeah. so that you uh, you will pre pre preserve preserve the nutrient nutritional value. You know, it's not mm. exposed too much on mm. on the lights and in the air because yeah. when when you expose too much, it will lessen the nutritional yes, content yes. of the food. Some of them evaporate. Eva yeah. Evaporate so fast especially some enzymes are really sensitive to heat so when you when you sometimes eat this raw you can eat also with the, the enzymes now if you will be modifying this i would suggest that you put little of the herbs mm -hmm. like putting just small amount of chopped basil maybe can add mm -hmm. in a flavor mm -hmm. Or a little of the oregano. If you yes. place uh, basil, next time you put oregano. Or you can put some of the um, herbs like dill. Mm. I love dill. Yes. So oh, nice. that can just a little to to have a unique taste. Yeah. So this one right now is just a one of the most simple simple recipes. Recipe. But we you can actually. Why some others may question, we, we have here uh, sinkamas. Cucumber and also. Cucumber. So you can put cucumber. You can put cucumber here and the same as also with this uh, sinkamas. sinkamas. And if those who have actually very strong, you know, digestive system can actually... Yeah, I can eat this I, one raw. Yeah, <laughs> eat this raw. Can you eat this raw, Kerb? <laughs> yes, of course yeah. I eat this raw. And then... You can also add But those of you who are sensitive, don't do this, okay? Mm, yes. Warning. <laughs> yeah. You can also add carrots with this. Mm -hmm. And you have, uh, you know, um, different variety of yakun and some Philippine spinach. Talinum. Talinum. Now, in case talinum is not available, Salad. you can substitute it with pechay mm -hmm. or sweet potato leaves. Mm. Or you can even put the onion licks yes. or the young onion leaves. Mm. Yeah, just to enhance the flavor. Yes. So this time, I, I'm sure some of you are listing the ingredients. <laughs> and you can now see that you have more than 20 recipes yes. of this kind of salad. So I would like to review the, the recipe. We, you put some talinum and uh, the yakun and... The, the, those are main ingredients, you know. And then for, for some flavor, you can add onion, sweet onion, preferably for that. And then tomatoes and some garlic probably for those who ha want a stronger flavor. Now, if you want some cheesy flavor, mm -hmm. all you have to do is just spread a little of... Uh, nutritional yeast wow. that can becomes a little bit cheesy Great. in taste uh, those of you who would like a little bit of the of the Italian thing you can put your basil mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's great. So, by the way, celery can also be added here. Oh, perfect is when you add the stock of the celery. That's it. Uh -huh. It had, adds a new scent and flavor mm -hmm. of the of the salad. And at the same time, it looks different. No, you yes, have a wide yes. variety of, you know, when it comes to the looks. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. Let us also always remember to put some little oil, the non. Uh, saturated oil yeah and it's not uh, heated like, oil yeah, heated so that oil. you can you can actually uh, utilize the adic vitamins the fat soluble yes. vitamins vitamin a d e and k yes you know guys i'm sure all, many of you are becoming excited and you can see curb here uh i'm challenging you gentlemen watching <laughs> do you know that real men helps in the kitchen 
Real <laughs> man helps in the kitchen. Yes. Real man can wash dishes, right? Yes, can yeah. wash dishes. And then can cook and can prepare salad. So it's really a challenge to all our viewers yes. right now. Young people like Herb here, you can also create your own dish. Yes. Um, it's nice because there are lots of celebrities mm -hmm. right now who are doing the same thing. Great. <laughs> yeah, there, we have lots and lots of popular, you know, they are professional and yes. they are really helping in the kitchen. In fact, to tell you honestly, mm -hmm. sometimes men have more accurate taste Ooh. compared to ladies. I, I'm sure you will agree with me, huh? <laughs> when it comes to taste, they are so sensitive when mm -hmm. it comes to combination mm -hmm. and they can be the best Chef, wow. you look around and in the five-star <laughs> hotel, good chefs are all men. <laughs> so, so, so that's it, it's huh? nice. So it's a challenge to all of us. Yeah. But hey, we can be the best chef, but we want it indigenous. <laughs> yes, indigenous. For indigenous. Philippines. When we say indigenous, these are locally grown fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. Go in the backyard, mm -hmm. look for the native vegetables and fruits. Yeah. And that is already indigenous. <laughs> <laughs> and I would like to encourage you to find this kind of uh, vegetable. So amazing vegetables. It has a lot of nutritional value. It helps a lot, especially the calcium for those athletes like, like me. I, I love running. So you can actually get a lot of calcium from this kind of vegetables with, without drinking, you know, those... Capsulated. Yeah. Capsulated. Sorry. Okay, and then here, we don't just ask you to cook, but we're asking you, please, please plant yes. your indigenous vegetable. It's so easy to plant. It is. Okay. Try planting, and I'm sure you will not be frustrated because it will just grow so wild. Yes. Uh -huh. And then later on, you'll see you have a huge plantation of this <laughs> vegetable. Yes. So, friends, I'm sure you have enjoyed a lot. And I'm sure you have learned a lot today. I, I keep on saying that good food is not everything, but without it, everything is nothing. Thank you for watching our show, Kitchen Treasures. And I'm, I hope that you will experiment starting today. Thank you very much, Gerb. Thank you.